Okay, this is a custom cheat engine I built for Zuma Blitz um, using a program called Fiddler and um, along with a custom DLL I made. Um, so let's talk about what it does and I'll show you how to install it. Uh, basically, uh, you go into Facebook, Facebook, log in, play Zuma. Um, when you go to play, you'll get this screen as long as Fiddler is running. And these are all the settings that basically affect all aspects of in-game play. Um, uh, the simple little power picker here, you can just go ahead and pick all the powers you want. Um, not limited to three, although you can only get one of these guys at a time. Um, okay, hit okay. And you'll see that I get basically everything I asked for. I've got the extra 12 seconds. I got the beetle. Um, all the other powers I selected are also in play here. Uh, you know, ball speed is faster. You got cannon showing up. You can see uh, started out. It's actually yeah, everything's there. I've got you know, all the powers you could possibly want. Um, and I should have reduced the time though because it's gonna take forever. So let's just run back. Okay, um, so there's that, there, you can get more than three powers, nice to have, um, um, also, since we have so much control, you can get pretty crazy with it, um, if, you know, a lot of things people might think to do is, okay, you know, I want mojo, well this multiplier Decides how much mojo you get. So you turn that three into a three hundred, you'll never run out of mojo. Uh, you like XP again? Use a multiplier, make it a big number. You've got all the XP in the world, um, along with um, all the other options, all the other powers, and not only just turning them on, but you can adjust the powers. Um, so I can make a time ball give me, you know, that's I think uh, five seconds, or, or I'm not sure what that is, but you increase that number, you're going to get more time. Um, so again, there's this screen for easy, just adding powers, but if you really want to get deep with it, um, you can get into this screen. I added some presets, come built in with this thing, you can save your own, make your own. Um, one interesting one I can show you is Cannonball, just to give you an idea of what this can do. Um, and of course you can mix and match once you, uh, start monkeying around with those values, but, I missed it. This level sucks for getting that first one. Let's see if we can get one here. Just come around. There we go. That's what I call cannonball, right? <laughs> okay. You get the idea. Um, a lot of interesting things you can do. Uh, maybe I'll show you more in a little bit. Let's talk about how to install it. Uh, first of all, what you need is uh, the DLL. You'll find that in the links uh, below this video. Uh, you can download it from my server. And the second thing you need is uh, the Fiddler script. Of course, you've got to install Fiddler. So go find it's Fiddler 2, I think they call it. Google it, it'll be a first result. Install this guy. If it looks complicated, don't worry about it. You don't need to know what it does or how it does it. Uh, basically, it captures, um, you know, captures internet traffic. It allows you to look at it and monkey with it if you want. For instance, this is uh, uh, this, is here. this is coming from the Zuma Blitz server into the game. And so what we're doing is intercepting this and just changing all these values. So, uh, but you will need a custom filler script and uh, you will need my DLL. Uh, filler script just basically makes use of my DLL. Um, okay, so install Fiddler. Um, get my downloads. Uh, when you download the stuff from me, you will get two things. Um, you will get this DLL, and you will also get uh, this customrules.js. So the customrules.js is this, what you're looking at, and the DLL, um, in order to install it, what you need to do is copy it into the Fiddler 2 installation folder. So we ever installed it, uh, program files x86 for 64-bit OS or just program files for 32-bit OS 
and or wherever you installed it, if you did a custom spot, it needs to be in the same folder as Fiddler.exe. So drop it in there. Um, the next thing you need to do is run Fiddler, go to Tools, Fiddler Options, and go to the Extensions tab here. You just need to type in that the name of that DLL, ZenoBlitzCheat.dll, into this box. Hit OK. At that point, you'll need to close and reopen Fiddler. Then, once you've done that, uh, take the .js file uh, that you downloaded, CustomRules.js, and you're going to want to go to your documents. Um, so, if you're on XP, My Documents, I think it's the same thing in Windows 7 and all this. Go into your documents. The Fiddler has created a Fiddler 2 folder, um, or it should have, and There'll be a scripts folder and you drop it in there. Alternatively, you can rename that to a text file and just copy the contents into here and then hit save at this point. Once that's done, just make sure Fiddler is running. Oh, I should mention, um, just to keep this list over here from building up, you might want to do a filter. So you see I'm only showing URL if it contains, if it contains Facebook slash Zuma Blitz. So you may want to do that. It just keeps this from taking up a lot of memory. Um, and then uh, click this to turn it on. So once that's done, just run Fiddler and make sure it's open, and then uh, or and then run uh, Zoom Blitz. You don't necessarily have to do it in that order, but whenever Fiddler is open, then when you hit this button, you will get the custom dialog. Um, and that is pretty much all there is to it. Like I said, you can choose presets. Um, you can add a preset by typing in here and hitting Save. That will take whatever's in this area and we'll save it as a preset. You can set a preset as a default, which means every time this little screen pops up, that's that specific preset loads. So you know if there's something you just want to use over and over again and you can clear the default if you don't want that behavior anymore. Uh, we talked about adding powers. Let me show you give me a couple more quick examples. Um, this one's interesting. It's basically the chain power, but Kind of uh, blown out of proportion, if you will. Takes a little bit of the fun out of the game, but hey, every shot pretty much clears the screen. Can't be too hard to uh, win this way, right? So, there's a lot you can do, and like I said, you know, some of it's more useful than others. Um, you might want to be careful because if you, you're always playing with these towers, it kind of takes the fun out of the game, but. Um, you know, like I said, a lot of stuff you can do here. Um, so hopefully you like it. Uh, if I update it, you know, when they come out with new uh, new spirit animals or whatever, if I update it, I'll, I'll update. You can use the same link, get the latest version. Maybe I'll, I'll post uh, you know, a little thing to let you guys know that I updated it. But I found a lot of cheats here on uh, YouTube, so I figured I'd give back to the community. Hope you guys all enjoy. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to add a couple things. Um, I left one thing out that you should at least know. Um, part of this script, one of the things it does is it makes it so that when you run out of hearts and you have to flip the coin for more hearts, um, you always win the coin top. So that's handy. You know, you can just basically play as much as you want. So I wanted to point that out, and then I wanted to go into a little bit more detail on uh, some of these numbers since uh, it may not be obvious to everyone and it wasn't necessarily obvious to me. Um, a lot of these uh, powers, so you've got you know, your last draw, multiple balls, uh, especially the ball powers, they have a frequency base and a frequency range number that they display. And for the best I can tell, all these numbers you would expect milliseconds, but they're not. I'm pretty sure they're in sec centiseconds. So, uh, 100 is one second. Um, so when you want balls to appear more often, this would be, I guess, when it first appears, or when it appears since the last ball, and this one would be um, the variance between one of the next. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So it's five seconds to start, and then it could be 14 seconds up or down, depending, you know. So that. I'm pretty sure that's what they mean. So I usually just set them both to 10, so it's one tenth of a second. And how long they last? It looks like this is 20 seconds. So um, you know you can set that to faster if you want them to you know 
pop in and out more often or slower. Um, fast one might even help too. I've tried setting it slower and if one gets away from you, you can't really get back to it. Okay, so you understand what, what those mean. That's pretty typical. One thing I also want to point out, the Frog Guitar, this controls which frog you get. So, for instance, 13, I'm at level 80, that's the uh, Golden Frog. And this will decide whether you get the uh, Spirit Beetle or, or the Green Frog. If you set this 21, it will crash in the blitz. And there are probably other things you can do to crash it in here, so just be forewarned. Um, but most of this other stuff is fairly self-explanatory. The radius of an explosion, set that to a high number, and it clears the screen like you saw earlier. Um, this one, you set this too fast, and the ball will actually go so fast it won't hit the line of ball, it'll just disappear off into the side of the screen. So, I like to set this at 2, um, but you go set it to 100 or something and you, you're not going to have a good time. Um, so you can play around with, you know, all this stuff. Um, enabled, most of these things have it enabled. They have a lifetime, they have a range in the base, uh, the explosions have a radius. Uh, the spirit stuff, this is what gets affected with your uh, spirit cat, spirit beetle. Um, the spirit blast is basically, this has to do with um, the balls that they consume at the end of the level and how many points you get for it. Um, for each, for, you know, initially and then for each ball. Uh, this is the color, I think 0 through 4 uh, of the balls that get destroyed. Um, well, so those spirit shot. This is uh, where the cat can shoot a fireball every 13 balls. So this one right here, uh, this is the the number of shots you get once the threshold is reached. You set this to one, you set this to one, and you pretty much always shoot. Or you set this to one, this to a thousand, whatever it is. You know, you're, you're always shooting. Um, and so let, let me do a couple more examples so you can get an idea. I wanted to show you what I want to show you. So you may fruit constantly there and get ridiculously with points. Um, hot frog can give you lots of shots. Here we go. So this one basically every single ball that comes out of your mouth blows something up. So it's fun again, it takes a lot of the fun fun out of the game. Okay, sorry about that. I had to cut that off. I uh I spent too much time playing that game. So, uh, one of the other things I wanted to point out with regard to the ball speed um, and how quickly they appear and when they appear um, can be represented with uh, the bombs. Basically, with bombs, I think you can get 10 on the screen at once. So, as you see, I set all the values real low. They all pop up at once and they're everywhere. Um, once you let one get by you, I think you... You don't get 10 back, so you kind of got to hit them, but not all balls work that way. So if we were, um, if we were doing a different, I'm going to try and die here real quick. I'm not doing the Lord dying. Uh, the, for instance, the cannonballs and the time balls, I think time balls you're allowed two on the screen at once, cannonballs you're allowed one on the screen at once. So if I do, um, quantum bubbles, if you can see here, I set the time balls so that, I can mean, even set that to 10, set that to 10. Let's just turn the lifetime down. I think it's better to have it down. I'm do, uh, pretty sure this will be five seconds. Uh, how much uh, time they give you? One second. Time balls don't, they're not going to pop up like the, the bombs did. 
you know, I, I you gotta wait a little bit, and then you'll get uh, one with y'all here. There it is. So you get one. And another one shows up pretty much right away. Um, so but you're not going to get all ten like you did with the, the bombs. Um, anyways, I just wanted to point out a couple more things. That's pretty much it. Um, I know this sounds complicated. I'm, I'm really just doing all this to let people know who want to know. If you want to just follow instructions, install it, and use the power buttons, you are good to go. That will work just fine for you. And like I said, you'll never run out of hearts. Um, and you don't even have to use Mojo. You can make as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can get up to 80 XP, get the gold frog. But every time you play, you get the screen, use your powers, and you can go. Hope you had a good time.